So let's have a look for type 2 for dot convention. So this is the following circuit given to you. It's given find the voltage V2 in the circuit shown in the above figure such that the current in the left hand of the loop is 0. That means the current in the left hand is I1. So I1 is 0. By putting I1 0, I need to find the value for V2. So let's do it my dear friend. First thing, when I say about dot convention, my dear friends, I need to clear my concepts. I cannot move further with this dot. I need to remove this dot. For removing this dot, I have few concepts for it. The concept says, you need to observe in both the inductor, the dot position is important. Either both the sh dot should be up or down or it can be up down combination or down up combination. Up means upper than inductor. This up towards respect to inductor, up towards respect to inductor, down, down. So if both are in the up up direction, I need to replace it by a voltage source. Down down voltage source. Up down voltage source. Down up again voltage source. Then what is the difference? The difference is in sign convention. If both are up up, so it will be positive negative. Positive negative. If both are down down, again it will be positive negative, positive negative. If you have a combination down up and up down, then you have negative positive, negative positive, negative positive, negative positive. So let's replace this dot by this voltage source. So your circuit will be my dear friend. The revised circuit will be a sinusoidal voltage source 5 angle 0 in polar form plus minus resistance 2 ohms a dot is replaced by a voltage source plus minus inductor the value is J4 ohms again a dot is replaced by a voltage source plus minus in series with the inductor, the value is J3, 1 ohm. You have a sinusoidal plus minus V2. Now next question arises, what will be the value for this voltage? You decide, you decided that there shouldn't be any dot, in spite of dot there should be voltage. Second, you decided how you need to put the sign convention. Up, up, down, down, plus, minus, plus, minus. Down, up, minus, plus, up, down, minus, plus. Now, next question arises, how to define the value for this voltages? The value is defined by the mutual coupling. The mutual coupling was given the question between two. That was J. In this above question, it was given as J2. So, so mutual coupling in the above case was given as J2, so it is mentioned in between. So this is a mutual coupling. So using this mutual coupling, my dear friend, you'll be writing the value as J2 again over here as J2. Then what is the difference between both the values? The difference arises in coupling. When I say mutual coupling, that means this dot depends on this coupling, this coupling depends on this. That means, depends means it depends on this current source. Over here, you had I1. Over here, you had I2. Since this depends on this, though, it depends on this current. Since this dot depends on this dot, in this I1 flows, so your current will be I1. So that is the difference in current. So let's write the KVL equation. So if you observe in the circuit, my dear friends, you will have a real part and imaginary part at all of them. So you will get 2 plus J4, the current is I1. 
Is there any other current flowing? No, try D equal to negative, so it will be positive. Positive, it will be negative. On equal to, there should be only numbers, all variables should be shifted in this side. So, equation will be 2 plus j4 i1 plus j2 i2 equal to 5 angle 0. This will be equation number k. Let's wait for a second. Again, you will be writing applying kvm in mesh 2. We can. How many resistance or real part imagine part you can see to add them? So, this will be 1 plus j3 i2 plus since you are adding an equation for mesh 2. Any other current in this? No, write equal minus v2. This will be plus j2 i2. All the variable on this side, so it will be minus j2 i1 plus 1 plus j3 i2 equal to minus v2. This will be equation number 2. Ultimately, I need to find v2. For finding v2, in question is given, consider the loop 1 current as i1. So, I need to find v2 by using i1. So, let's find out i1, my dear friend, by using the equation number a and b. Since it has imaginary components, I cannot use my calculator. So, I need to solve this manually. So, let's see how to solve it manually. For finding I1, my dear friends. So, we need to find I1 with respect to V2. Ultimately, my answer is in terms of V2. In question is given that I1 loop 1 current is 0. So, if this is 0, if I multiply this with this, I will be getting 0. So, my equation will be 0 equal to phi angle 0 minus V2 J2 1 plus J3. Cross multiply it, simplify the equation which you will be getting it my dear friends. 0 equal to phi angle 0 bracket 1 plus J3 minus minus of V2 equal to J2. So, your equation will be multiply these two terms. If I do multiply in terms of angle or in terms of j, just make sure you make your calculator in terms of complex mode. So, your bracket it will be 5, angle will be shift, first, second, third, bracket 0, bracket close, again bracket 1 plus. While writing, you write j, but in terms of here, you write i. So, while in calculator, you write the imaginary part after the number. So, you get 5, that will be a real part, shift and equal to it will be 15i. So, your calculation is 5 plus j 50, which this you got as v2 bracket j2. Shift on this side, so you get 5 plus 15 minus upon you will be getting j2 that will be the value for V2. So, your V2 will be bracket 5 plus 15 i bracket close divide by bracket value is 2 i equal to you got 7.5 this will be shift and equal to which you got minus 2.5 i minus j 2.5 minus so that will be your value for v2 the unit will be for volts so that's what i just said by considering a loop on current as zero find the value for v2 signing off thank you so much